Welcome to the UC Improvement Academy. Today we will talk about two types of variation, common cause and special cause. An understanding of variation is needed during all phases of improvement journey, and it is especially important during the continuous improvement phase. Imagine your daily commute from home to work at the hospital. The time it takes you to reach the hospital is influenced by the system. In this case, the system includes your car, your driving skills, road conditions, traffic lights, speed limits, the other cars on the road, and the time it takes in the parking garage. You measure the time it takes every day, and you notice day-to-day -day variation. However, this variation is the product of the same stable system. All factors of the system contribute to the results. Every stable system has certain variation in its outcomes. This is known as common cause variation. It is also known as random or chance variation. Each data point may be slightly different from the other, but it is randomly distributed around a stable mean and is within a certain range. We shouldn't judge or react to each data point separately, rather know that this is the product of a stable system. Now let's say one day you overslept. And by the time you were on the road, the traffic was far more congested. Or one day there were heavy rains that affected the whole system. These factors would cause delay, but these are external influences that are not part of the previous system. This is special cause variation. You could also have a good special cause, like the day you left early for a 6 a.m. meeting and saved 10 minutes of travel time as the traffic was much less. Special cause can manifest as a data point that is out of the bounds of the expected limits for that system or when the pattern of distribution is not random anymore. Such a variation needs to be identified and investigated. Good special causes are desirable and are learning opportunities for improvement. Bad special causes disrupt the system and need to be removed or avoided. When we are looking at data, it is important to display it in a way that we can identify what is common cause and what is special cause variation. Run charts and control charts help us do that. The data is plotted over time. There are mathematical rules of probability to make it easy to identify special cause visually. Let's take an example. Here we have 30-day readmission rate to the hospital for patients with COPD who are discharged from the hospital. The readmission percentage is on y-axis and time in months is on x-axis. If the team does not have knowledge of variation, they might pick a certain threshold for good performance. Whenever the readmission rate is below the threshold, they celebrate, they throw a pizza party and give awards. But when they have a month with high readmission rate, it leads to a bunch of emails, finger pointing and frustration. The frontline wonders, what they have done different this month to see such outcome and how can they stay consistent with a good outcome? The team has good data, but it is not presented in a way to identify the type of variation to help them make a better conclusion out of it and make a better decision. If we plot this data on a control chart with a center line and control limits, we can see that this was a stable system all along with only common cause variation. We wasted time and efforts in explaining and reacting to each individual data point, a mistake that should not happen. Now let's say something changed in the system and actually led to a higher readmission rate. Perhaps an outpatient clinic closed and patients could not get follow-up appointments. Maybe the pharmacy switched to a different formulary. What if the team never picks up the signal and continue business as usual? They missed an opportunity to mitigate future harm. On the other hand, Let's say a few staff members tried a new process of discharge transition and it led to a good special cause. But sadly, the team never identified it. An opportunity to improve was missed. Unfortunately, such mistakes and reactions are common. Mistake 1, when a common cause is treated as special cause and we are reacting to each data point. This leads to many wasteful actions and frustrations. And mistake 2, when a special cause is treated as common cause and an opportunity to learn and improve is wasted. Now let's talk about what we need to do when we are reacting to these two types of variation. If our system has common cause variation only, then the question is, are we happy with the outcomes or not? If the answer is yes, 
then we need to keep the system stable and prevent external influences or breakdowns. However, if the answer is no, then we need to work to improve the processes and components that make up the system. This requires redesigning a part of the system or whole system altogether. Just as the team working on reducing COPD readmissions, they were dealing with a stable system with common cause variation that was not producing good results. They worked to redesign the system by creating new processes and refining many old ones and were able to produce a new system with better results. In the case of driving to work, it would mean to leave early every day when the traffic is less or find a faster route to work. Reaction to special cause variation is different. The question here is, did the special cause produce better results or worse results than usual? If the results are worse, then get rid of the factors producing this special cause. If the results are better, then learn from the special cause and see if such a change can be made a part of the usual system for consistently better results. In the case of driving, our reaction to the undesirable special cause would be to avoid it or prepare for it. So this would mean avoid waking up late and anticipate rainy days and leave early on those days. Keep in mind, we function in complex systems where people, processes, and many factors influence the outcomes. So next time, when you are in a meeting and making decisions or looking at any data, use the right tools to see if it is common cause or special cause that you are dealing with. Thank you.